Back in the day, Marseille used to be one of the most formidable teams to come across in Europe. But their last trophy that they won was in 2012. The last time they won the French League was in 2010. They've only won the Champions League once, and that was in 1993 against AC Milan. But that is all about to change in this video. Today, by the end of this video, we are going to make Marseille Champions League winners. If you're going to enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and every single subscription helps us along that way to achieving that goal. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below who you want me to rebuild next. I'm open to any team in the world. Just leave a comment and I'll get to it as soon as I can. You guys seem to be really enjoying these rebuild videos more than any other videos that I'm making at the minute. Make sure you go check them out if you haven't already. And if you haven't seen one of my rebuild videos before, here are the rules. The main objective of today's video is to win the Champions League. I can make any transfers with my given budget. Every single game has to be simulated, apart from the Champions League final, which has to be played. Taking a look at this start 11 team, it fills me with a bit of worry because everybody's everywhere. Like, Talvin's playing centre mid when he's a winger. Payet's playing up front when he's a winger. Um, you got a left back in the left wing position. It's just all over the place. The formation is not staying like that at all. I don't care what anybody says. We're going to change the formation. We have got some good potential in this team though. Gay's only 21 years of age. Luis Enrique is only 18 years of age as well. We've got Rongier, 25 years of age. We've got Milik, who's 26. So there are some good players in this team, but there's a lot of room for improvement. We only have 12.64 million pounds to work with as well. So what we've got to do is find out where we want to buy, what positions we want to buy for, and who we can get in those positions because I've got a feeling this is going to be one of the trickiest rebuilds that we actually do with a big team. We've officially made our first signing of the transfer window, Colin Dagbra. He has come from PSG for £10 million, 21 years of age, 75 rated. I know this guy shoots up like a rocket in the future. If he's played, we're going to get him on the developmental plan straight away and hopefully throughout the seasons, I'm hoping that he can progress quite well. I decided to let go of Valère Germain. He's 30 years of age and 74 rated. He's not going to be our second striker because Benedento is. We've made a sale of 3.7 million, so I feel like it's a good bit of business. We've just come to the end of the first transfer window in season one. This is the team that we're rocking with. I want Luis Enrique to shoot the hell up in this season. I put a lot of faith in this guy. I purposely stayed away from getting a left winger because I want Luis Enrique to shoot up like a rocket. We brought in Dag. 21 years of age. I'm hoping he's going to shoot up. Everybody else is quite well-rounded. There's only a couple of teams in this league that we realistically need to worry about. One being PSG, one being Lille, and the other being Olympic Lyon. The rest of them, let's be totally honest, they're not really that good. So I'm hoping that throughout the season we can maintain a certain spot. I'm hoping that we can stay in the top five at least. Talk about a group of death. Take a look at this. FC Porto, Man City, Olympiacos, and ourselves in Group C of the Champions League. I'm not. This is going to be a tough one. So I re Man City are going to floor it without a shadow of a doubt. But Port is going to be between Porto and ourselves, whoever goes for that second spot. I'm hoping it's us, but we can only wait and see. I'd be very disappointed if we don't go through. It'd be the first time this series where we don't actually make it out of the group stage. I'm hoping it isn't today where we break that. Jesus Christ, would you take a look at Group C? That was actually quite close. Porto bottled it completely. Olympiacos gave us the biggest troubles, though. Jesus. Man City absolutely floored it. We all expected that to happen, let's be honest. But we only just tipped it into the round of 16. Let's take a look at who we're playing. Oh, for God's sake. Can we go one video where we don't play Juve in the round of 16? I swear to God, man. Oh, that, that is hands down going to be the toughest game we play this season. Oh, God. I, love, I won't... Don't, don't be surprised if this is where we go out in season one of the Champions League. As we all expected, Paris Saint-Germain are flying away with it at the top spot, followed by Lille, then Nice, Stade René, or ourselves, and then Olympic Lyon. Stade René surprised me a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you. And Monaco, I completely forgot about Monaco, which is fair play. Olympic Lyon, I thought they'd have been doing a little bit better. I'd have expected them in the top four, but I'm, I'm actually quite happy with fifth place. I mean, it's still halfway through the season. There's a lot of games to play, so I've, I'm comfortable and confident enough to say that I think we're going 
going to end up in the top four at the end of the season. We've just made a transfer on transfer deadline day. Matthias Pereira, we bought him from West Brom for £12 million. He's 24 years of age, 77 rated. Payet is decreasing in overall massively. So we've had to buy a replacement. We were originally going to go for Emile Smith-Rowe. But he is too expensive for us, unfortunately. So Matthias Pereira will have to do for the time being until the future seasons. This is what the team's looking like at the midway point of season one. Kamara's grown massively. Ron Ye's grown as well. Coletta Carr, Alvaro, they're all growing, to be honest. Dagbit is really dragging his feet on growing as well. Might have to nip in developmental, sort that out myself. Luis Enrique has gone to 75 rated. I think he is still 18 or he might be 19. He's 19 now. But he's growing comfortably for his age. My hope is that for the rest of this season that we can just improve the players, improve their overalls, and potentially next season we can start pushing for more trophies. Guys, I'm not even going to front with you. I have been dreading this game. I've got a feeling that we're going to get embarrassed. Look at their team and then look at ours. The lit. They've got Rams. They're playing Ramsey at centre-back. They are that confident. Albert, Alexandro, Arthur, Rabio. Dybala, we're not, oh, we ain't going to stand a chance. Our only hope is that we take it in a home win against Juve, but I'm not going to lie, I am not confident going up against Juve. Can we pull off an upset? <laughs> no, absolutely not. We're, we're nowhere near on Juve's level yet, but it, that was to be expected, to be honest. We have achieved the domestic goal, though, getting into the knockout stage. It's just unfortunate that we're probably going to go out in the knockout stages. We are now in the second leg of the round of 16 tie against Juve. We're currently 3-1 down on aggregate. It is literally going to take a goddamn miracle for us to pull any sort of result against Juve. But let's see what we can do. I mean, there's not much that we can do. I don't know what I'll take that. We lose 4-1 on aggregate overall. I mean, it's Juve, isn't it? It is Juve. They are levels above us right now. But they won't be levels above us for long. I promise you that. Okay, so we're at the end of season one. We finished fifth. I'm not going to lie to you. That's slightly disappointing. I thought we'd have finished in the top four at least. We still get Europe, but we're in the Europa League next season. That, to be fair, though, that might be the best place for us. We're nowhere near the level that we need to be to be competing in the Champions League. So it's not all bad news. We finished fifth. PSG absolutely ran away with it. 17 points clear of second place. They were second place with 10 points clear of third as well. So we went out in the Coupe Nationale in the round of 32 against Strasbourg. We lost 2-1 in the end. It's just been a disappointing season really, hasn't it? Leicester <laughs> City beat Arsenal 5-4 on penalties in the Europa League final. Oh, that is just... Whenever Arsenal fail, I don't care if it's on FIFA or in real life. It just brings a grin to my face, honestly. Manchester City toppled the French Giants 2-1 in the Champions League final. How ironic. Oil money versus oil money. To be honest, the stats of the players aren't all bad. Milik got himself 18 goals this season with two assists. Luis Enrique, I knew point faith in this guy would pay off. 77 rated. He's gone up five overall this season. Only 19 years of age. Bagged himself 13 goals and 6 assists. Talvin got 12 goals and 13 assists, going up 1 overall himself. Payet scored 11 assists in 7, but he's decreased dramatically this season. Vonnier's gone up 3 himself, scoring 8 assists in 5. It's been a decent season. Kamara, holy shit, he's, he's shot up like a rocket. I have a strong feeling that season 2 is where we're going to start pulling the strings and putting the pieces together and seem to get us to that level. Let's go to season 2. We're now in season two. The board have given us a little bit more money. We've got now £50 million to spend. And there's a couple of positions that I want to really focus on this season. Taking a look at the current start 11, there's a couple of spots that I really need to focus on. The first one being the keeper, Mandande. Whilst he is a legend of Marseille, he's 36 years old and he's depleting massively. And also, Amavi, he's 27 years of age, he's 79 rated. I feel like we can get a better left back. So these are the two positions I'm going to focus on improving in this transfer window. We finally sold Dimitri Payet. He's gone for 5.2 million. He's done his job for us at Marseille. But we wish him all the best, but he just doesn't fit in the team anymore. Plus, we can put that money to great use in finding a replacement, a proper replacement for the central attacking midfielder role. 
We've made a first signing of the season two transfer window, Albon Lafont. 22 years of age, 79 rated. I guarantee you we're going to have this guy until the end of this video. I've heard a lot of great things about Lafont from a lot of people, so I've brought him in, and let's hope that he can do his job. Okay, so Ronier, for whatever reason, requested a move away from Marseille. The release clause was met by Lazio. They paid 32.6 million for Ronier. In my opinion, I thought they got a little bit ripped off. He was 27 years of age and only 81 rated, so that money will go to very good use in replacing him. Also, Kevin Strootman, who I had no idea still playing football, has been sold for £4.9 million. We've opted for Brandon Williams to go in that left-back role. 20 years of age, 76 overall. We picked him up from Manchester United for £12.8 I've heard a lot of good stuff about Brandon Williams. I've seen a lot of videos where his potential is through the roof, so hopefully he can deliver in the long run. <laughs> this guy, I am very happy I have just signed. Renato Sanchez, the absolute baller himself. 23 years of age, 81 rated. We bagged him up for £48.7 million. This guy's got a big reputation in FIFA career mode and on Ultimate Team and in real life because he is that good. Let's hope he can deliver for us as well. We've just managed to sell Jordan Amavi for £22.2 million to AC Milan. We've already got Brandon Williams in his place, so I'm happy to see the back of him. At the end of the first transfer window in Season 2, this is how we leave the team looking like. I'm not going to lie, there's some players that I really wish would improve, like Pereira. I want to see Dagby go up dramatically. I want Lafont to go up. I'd like Brandon Williams to go up. I want my boy Luis Enrique to go up as well. But I can't control that, unfortunately. We're just going to have to see how the season goes. We are in Group J of the Europa League. We are with VFL Wolfsburg, Kara Gumrock SK and Bronby IF. Surely to God, ourselves and Wolfsburg are going through to the round of 16. But you never know with this game, do you? As expected, ourselves and Wolfsburg have flown the other two teams in Group J. And we book our place in the round of 32. In the round of 32 though we do play against AZ they are quite a good team though so we've got to watch out for them in the French League again PSG are top of the table but they're not exactly running away with it this year Lil and bloody Monaco are very close on their tail we're currently fifth in the table but in terms of quality we're nowhere near the level where we need to be right now this is going to be a lot harder than I thought Okay, we've got some catching up to do. So first of all, Gay put in a transfer request. He wasn't happy or whatever, so we had to sell him. He sold for 31.5 million to Sevilla. Pereira, we've also made a bit of profit on him. We've sold him for 20.5 million pounds to Nice. So that's a lot of money to spend on a replacement central attacking midfield role. And I know just who to buy. Guys, we've just done bits here. Giovanni Reina, the teenage sensation from America. 19 years of age, 79 rated. He cost us £48 million to get him away from Dortmund. But trust me when I say, this guy is unbelievable when he's older. So I'm very happy that he's in our squad now. We've just come to the end of the second transfer window in Season 2. And this is how our team is looking. I'm not going to lie, it's a massive improvement from Season 1's team, isn't it? Rain is going to improve dramatically. Luis Enrique needs to hurry up and actually start bloody improving a bit more. I know he's 79 rated, but I'm getting a bit impatient with him. Brandon Williams is going up nicely. Dagber is finally 80 rated. So let's just see what we can do for the rest of the season. It's time for our game against AZ. In the round of 32 in the Europa League, we're away against AZ this time. Our team is looking really good. Luis Enrique is finally 80 rated. I'm buzzing about that. Brilliant stuff. So, I'm hoping that we can pull off a good result here. If not, then it just doesn't look well for us in the home leg. Can we pull off a result? Yes, we can. It's 2-1. We go into the second leg with the two-goal away advantage. Brilliant stuff. Well, not two-goal, but you know what I mean. We go into our second leg against AZ without our main striker. Benedetto takes his place. Milik picked up a suspension, so unfortunately he can't participate in today's game. But I'm hoping that we can do enough without him to pull off our result and bag ourselves a place in the round of 16. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oh, it was never in question. 3-0, we're into the round of 16. Guys, look who we have got in the round of 16. None other than the Gunners themselves, Arsenal Football Club. Now, I think that we've got enough. I do, I do believe that we do have enough quality in our side to beat Arsenal, at home at least, anyways. But they do have some really good players. Got Leno, Gabriel, Verobo, Nogli. 
Tierney, we know for a fact, is unreal. I don't know who that Rodriguez is, but I know that Willian isn't the best in this game. Saka is probably around 81, 82 rated at this point. Smith Rowe won't be that good. So hopefully we can bag a result at home. Can we pull off an upset against Arsenal? Come on. It's a draw. It's a draw. I, I, we can take a draw, I suppose, but it's not the best result going into the second leg. Here we go, guys. The second leg of the round of 16 tie against Arsenal. We are away from home in this tie. Can we pull off an upset, please, guys? Please. Can we do it? Can we? Yes. Oh, it feels so good to say we have just knocked Arsenal out of the Europa League. <laughs> A little bit of news for you guys. Radonjic has been sold for 14 million. He just wanted out straight away for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably because of game time and lack of it. But we get 40 million for him. So, yeah, good riddance to you, bro. It's time for the quarterfinals. We are against Benfica. Away from home in the first leg. Unfortunately, Milik picked up a knock and he's out for 12 days. It's a massive blow for us, if I'm being totally honest. However, we do have Benedetto. He's not the worst player in the world. But I feel like our overall squad can potentially overthrow Benfica. So, away from home, can we pull off an upset? This would be incredible if we could. We draw 2-2. Two, two. That is decent. We've got the two away goals as well. So, going into our second leg at home against Benfica, I'd say we've got the advantage. It's time for the second leg of the quarterfinals against Benfica. This time, we've got the home advantage. Apart from Millet being out, the team is looking solid, I must say. Rain is improving, Lucas, Luis Enrique is improving. So hopefully we can do enough to pick up the win. Come on, I beg. Don't let me down, boys. I bet. Oh, yes. We've done it. We are into the semi-finals. Come on. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I am far more worried about this game than I have been of any other so far. We are up against Leicester City in the semi-finals. We are away from home. Leicester City's team is stacked. Jesus Christ, they have done bits in the transfer market. We've got Martial, Witzel, Madison, Vardy, Tielemans, Fofana, Zuma, Evans. We've unfortunately got Renato Sanchez out through, through a suspension as well. So we haven't got the best team out. I'm hoping that we can pull off a result, but I'm not going to lie to you. I am not. I'm not putting my hopes up. Can we do it? We, that's insane. We go into the second leg with an advantage. This could potentially be the year. It's now the second leg of the semi-finals against Leicester City. We have got the advantage with the two away goals from the away tie in the first leg. Our team is back to full strength as well with Sanchez making a return from the suspension. Can we do it, boys? If we win this, we book our tickets in the final. Come on! Does that mean that we're through? I think it does. Come on! We're through to the finals. Come on! It is time for the Europa League final. I can't believe in the second season we've managed to get to this point. So, the team is the set exact same as it's always been. This is their team. It's, I'm going to be totally honest with you. There's about three people in that team that I actually know. Gozins, Aspas, and Zapata. The rest on mine got a clue. But, nevertheless, can we do it, guys? Can we guarantee ourselves a place into the Champions League final next season? Come on, Marseille, I beg. We've done it as well. Come on! Not only did we just bag ourselves a place in the Champions League final, we won the Europa League in our second season. That is something that we can be proud of. Come on, boys! Once again, guys, we finished fifth in the league. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. This is getting on me wick a bit now. We're 15 points behind fourth place. That's shocking for us. Our team is better than that now. Our team is better than that. It's a top four team in my opinion. So we should be finishing higher up in the league in my opinion. Do go on to win the Coupe Nationale 5-4 on penalties against RC Lens. So that's another trophy that we picked up this year along with the Europa League. Inter Milan beat Bayern Munich 1-0 in the final of the Champions League. That's a shock upset. Fair play Inter Milan. Luis Enrique, I tell you what boys, Luis Enrique has had the season of his life this season. 27 goals, 11 assists. Stalvin, 21 goals, 14 assists. Milik, 19 goals, 2 assists. Guys, the boys are pouring a shift this year. But next year, we need to be doing a hell of a lot better than 5th place. Let's get into Season 3. Board us back to even more this year, giving us £81.5 million to spend. With Millet going back to his previous team from his loan, there's only one position that we realistically need to put all that money into, and that is the striker role, and I think I know just who to buy. <laughs> we have just bagged Victor Osmihen from Napoli for £76.9 million. 23 years of age and 84 rated. Trust me, we have just bagged up a 
bullet of a player. He is going to fit very nicely into our starting 11 team. We have officially come to the end of Season 3's first transfer window, and this is the team. The only positions that we realistically need to improve is just the back four. Now, Kelator Carr is absolutely phenomenal for us, but Dagbert, Williams, Elvaro either need to improve or leave. Lafont is improving as we speak. Kamara is just a darn for us. Sanchez, Reina is going up really well. Osmian, Tauvin, and Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique is really pulled his out of the bag. 82 rated at 20 years of age. Five star, five star as well. Guys, I've got a good feeling about season three. I've got a very good feeling about season three. This is going to be an interesting group. We're in group C of the Champions League with Inter Milan, Club Bruges, and RB Salzburg. Now, I don't know what the state of RB Salzburg and Club Bruges is, but I know for a fact Inter Milan have got a very good side because they won the Champions League in Season 2. So hopefully we can just go through, a, I'd be happy going through a second spot. I just don't want to crash out in, in the group stage. We absolutely fly it, let's be honest. We finished second as expected. Inter Milan pipped us to the top spot by two points. But the main thing is, we are through to the round of 16. The only question is, who are we playing? That is going to be a very, very interesting game, to say the least. Marseille versus Dortmund. Woohoo! That's going to be an interesting game. We are finally starting to play how we should be. We're in the top four at long last. We're seven points behind top spot PSG, who once again are running away with it by the looks of things. But we're in the top four where we belong. That's it all. That's all that matters. That is literally all that matters. Not going to lie, we've spent no money because there's nobody that we can afford, who we can put into this team. We've had a major blow though. Kamara's injured for about two months now. And with the Champions League just around the corner, that's the last thing that we needed. But let's hope and pray that we can pull this one out of the bag. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. So we go into the first leg against Dortmund in the round of 16 of the Champions League. And two of our best players are out of the starting eleven. Kamara is injured for another two months. And Reina has picked up a bloody suspension. Oh, you can't write this stuff. And we're up against an exceptionally strong team that Dortmund have put out. We're at home, though, so I, I, I can't even lie to you. This ain't looking good for us. This ain't looking good for us at all. We can only pray that there's some fuckery that goes on and we have a chance in the second leg. Come on, Marseille. I beg, can you pull it out of the bag, please? What, what do you mean that we've just beaten Dortmund 2-0? Nah, 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 that's mental. That is actually nuts, you know. We've just beaten Dortmund with a really wicked team. 2-0 at home. Come on! We're now in the second leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League against Dortmund. We are currently 2-0 up on aggregate. We did beat them at home 2-0, but we're away from home now. And this is where it comes in. We've got Reina back in the team. Unfortunately, Kamara is still injured and probably will be until maybe if maybe if we make it to the semi-finals, he'll be back. But for the time being, we have Perrin in his spot. But the team is looking so much better than it used to. I can't put into words how happy I am with how it's looking right now. Talvin's just come out of the woodwork and gone right up the market, hasn't he? 86 overall. Luis Enrique, 83 rated. Osmian, 87. What a signing he's become. Can we book our place in the quarterfinals? Come on, Marseille. Come on, please. We've done it. Come on. We're one step closer to the Champions League. We're now in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We're up against Lazio. And I'm not going to lie, their team looks absolutely disgusting. Oh my god. That team is scum. We've still got Kamara out. I tell you what, we're going to switch top one minute. That looks a little better. We've got Kaiui in his spot instead. But I, do you know what the thing is? Like, it's just the back four that let us down a little bit, I feel like. I feel like if we had a better back four, we'd stand a much better chance of winning this. But nevertheless, we go for it. Come on, Marseille, please. Can we do something? We've Something's happening here, guys. Some, we have no right to be winning that game. They are far the better team. Something is happening. Into the second leg we go. Look who's back in the team. Kamara, we love you. Yes, Kamara's back in the team. Our team is back to its full strength. Just what you want to see. We're now at home in the second leg against Lazio. 1-0 up on aggregate. We have the away goal. A draw will do it. A draw will do it. I have a strong feeling that this is going to be a very, very difficult game for us. But I've got faith. Come on, Marseille. Come on, Marseille. All we need is a goal. All we need is a win. 
We've done it! We're in the semi-finals! Come on! Guys, look who the hell we've come up against, man. You can't write this. You can't write this. Oh, for God's sake, this is going to be... Oh, God, they're going to knock us out. They're, I've, got, I've got a feeling we're going to get knocked out here, guys. I don't think our team's strong enough to come up against PSG. But we're at home. This is the best chance we've got. My hair's a mess, but we move. Come on, boys. Can we pull something out of the bag? Please. It's a one-all draw. Do you know what? I'll take a one-all draw. I will take a one-all draw. That's a, a, a much better result than I thought we were going to get. We go into the second leg. We're literally one game away from booking our place in the Champions League final. But PSG standing our way. It had to be PSG, didn't it? Couldn't have been AC Milan or Inter Milan or bloody Bayer Leverkusen. Bloody PSG. Bloody oil company left, right and centre. Honestly. Can we pull it off? Come on, please. I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh my god, we've done it! We're in the finals! Oh my god, we're in the finals! Guys, you can't write this. You can't write this. Oh my god, I don't care who we're playing in the final. We are winning. I don't care who we're playing in the final. We've just beaten PSG, the rulers of France. We have just beaten them in the Champions League semi finals, making us Champions League finalists. Guys, it was written in the stars. The team that knocked us out in the very first season, and I said, I said, we are going to be on their level soon. Mark my words. And we're meeting them in the Champions League final. It is written in the stars that this is happening right now. But before we get into the final itself, let's take a look at how we've done this season. We've actually had our highest finish yet. Finishing second in the league. PSG still ran away with it, but we knocked you out of the semi-finals of the Champions League. So suck on that one, PSG. I'm extremely happy with where we finished, I'm not going to lie to you. We'd have guaranteed ourselves Champions League football next year anyways, regardless of what happened in the Champions League. So I'm very happy with the finish. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you, I think Osmin has been the biggest impact signing I have made since starting this series with Arsenal. Look at his stats. He scored 31 goals and assisted five in his very first season with us, as well as increasing four overall. Luis Enrique... He's been a don from start to finish. 83 rated. He started at 72. He's grown 11. That's insane. Talvin, 86 rated at 30 years of age. I'm so happy I decided not to get rid of him. Rainey, 20 years of age. 85 rated. Captain America himself. Renato Sanchez, 25 years of age. 86 rated. Guys, the signings have done bits. The one thing I will say is I can't believe we're in the final. And we've got players like Brandon Williams, Alvaro. 81 rated players as such like that. I can't believe we've somehow done it. I don't understand how we've managed it. But nevertheless, we're in the Champions League final. This is how we are started out, our team. It has been the same the entire season. The boys have done unbelievably well to get to this point. But I've got to say, Juve's team looks weak. I mean, Alexandro and Costa have to be aged at this point. So is Jimenez. So is Aspicula I'm assuming that's Rob Holding. Rabio and McKinney and Arthur, they're all right. Chesney's all right. Dybala's all right. Delict's phenomenal. Overall, that team doesn't look that good at all. But the question still remains now. Can we make Marseille the Champions League winners and the best team in the world? do this guys Marseille versus Juve in the Champions League final let's get this dub bring it home for the boys come on can we find Osmin in the bottom oh my god we can oh can we get ahead on that oh please oh what is this so oh what is this oh no way you lucky get Juve we've got Rainer on the ball what can we do with this Osmin Osmin is making a run oh my god Osmin Osmin's away Osmin's away can we finish this oh come on Chesney leave me alone Oh no, 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 no. 
What a tackle. Oh my god. What a tackle. What a tackle. We found Osmian. Osmian. What can we do? Oh my god. Renato. Oh no. Oh my god. We've been all over him. We've literally been all over. We just can't finish it. Oh my god. This is so tense. This is so tense. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's their first shot. That is their first shot, man. Oh, you've got to be shitting me right now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's the off-time whistle, and we have been dominating them, but we just haven't been able to finish it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. Oh, my God. Rainer. Rainer's through. Rainer is through. Rainer is through. Please, please, please back this. Yes! It has taken 49 minutes, but we are finally, finally, Finally scored against Juve. Oh my god, that has been so long time coming. That has been so deserved. Rainer as well, the boy from Dortmund. He just smashes it into the near post. Oh my god, please, please tell me that's on side. Please tell me that's on side. Oh my god, it is! <laughs> That is one of the best work goals I think I've ever done on FIFA career mode. Oh my god. That was so good. We tore them absolutely apart. I apologise for the silence, but that was pure concentration at work there. Osmi getting in behind and just tapping it in. Oh my god, we're 2-1 up against Juve. We're 2-1 up and we are this close, this close away from being Champions League winners. Come on! Juve are beginning to step their game up right now. Holy shit. Guys, we, oh my god, yeah, they're stepping up their game big time. Oh my god, we've just made a really crucial tackle there. Oh my god, who knows what would have happened if that had got through. Can we find Tauvin down the right-hand side of the pitch? We can. He's in acres of space, but no one's with him. Can we think this crop? What is, what is that? Oh my god, that was one of the worst balls in I've ever seen in my life. Guys, is that it? Oh my god, we've done it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we've actually done it. We've done it. Oh my god. Boys and girls, we've just beaten Juve with Marseille. Oh my god, we've done it. We have done it. We have finally done it. Look at the boys, man. Look at them. What team do you want me to do this with next? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'm open to every single team imaginable. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really does help with the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.